Hello and welcome to another Packets Beer Review. So, um, got this from Low Cost Beer, aka Smiling Grape, uh, donated to the channel by the mystery uh, uh, friend of the channel. Although, I know who he is, or she is. Uh, so, it's Way and Nephew, and it's their rum cream liqueur. Ray and Nephew, do you do rums as far as I know? Do do ginger wine as well as far as I know as a member. So this is the liqueur. It's fifteen percent. Doesn't really say anything. So let's dive in. Primarily because I want to try it. Oh, it just pours like a like a nice Bailey's. Look at that. It even looks like Bailey's. Make sure we get all the drips. Don't leave one drip behind. Should always give it a good shake anyway, shouldn't you? No, I mean. Now, this is what happens when you go to the toilet and you don't shake enough. You could do shaking back, freshness back. Anyway, oh, bloody hell. So lovely, creamy pour on this, like a beige colour pour. It looks like what Bailey's looks like. 15%. To be honest, it smells a lot like Bailey's as well, to be honest. I can smell the rum, but the creaminess. Um, no idea if it's used triple distilled rum or anything. You know, that's what they're using in Bailey's. Way and Nephew, decent brand. Nice bit of fire at the back end. Oh. Nice kick of booziness coming through from it. Really thick. And the price was ridiculously cheap. I mean, what was it? Two or three quid for 20 CL? You know, if you like your Baileys and your cream liqueurs, obviously the likes of <clears throat> the likes of Aldi with their Ballycastle range, you can't fault that range. You really can't. Um, member of the family, um, your wife's family, he, he lives in on Northern Ireland on the border with Ireland. And he worked at a factory that made a lot of different cream liqueurs. Wherever they all came from there, I don't know. It doesn't say anything on there. But, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. It's like a lot of these things that you buy out there. A lot of it's made in the same flipping place. You've seen these um, warehouses on TV where one minute they're, they're cooking, they're doing um, Marks and Spencer's Christmas cakes, and then it's some other, and it's like, and they're all the bloody same. Well, slight variations on the same theme. And that's why sometimes, when I used to work at uh, Sainsbury's, we'd get random packages from the, from like, that were supposed to be Marks and Spencer's that would come into Sainsbury's. And we had to, you know, sell them to the staff or just give them away to the staff. Um, because of that same thing that they, they, you know, they come boxed in a thing and it's not for us, it's supposed to get gone to such and such a uh, shop. Oh. Look at the, um, the legs on that. The film around the glass. Proper decent. Um, if you like your Baileys, you like your Irish cream liqueurs, you're going to love this. The rum... Doesn't taste overly far away from what a whiskey would give you. You know, it's not a spiced woman wrote like that. So, and like with whiskies, you know, like a peaty whiskey would give you like a smoky um, effect. It would depend on the whiskey, to be fair. But I 
Would I drink that again? Without a flipping shadow of a doubt. Yes. Out of five against other cream liqueurs. Righty Baileys. I would put this smack bang against Baileys Ballycastle and tell you that if you see it and you like Baileys and your Ballycastles, if you see it, get it. You'll experience a fantastic, quite a lovely warmth at the back of the throat there. Need it. <laughs> it's cold. But um, yeah, very decent. And that is my review. Um, did I say 4.6 out of 5? Well, if I didn't, I did. Just now. But anyway, yeah. Well worth um, a quick chug. Cheers.